My piece on the exhibition is titled The Outside Inside and it's a series of works about current and potential future relationships between environments, the species that inhabit these and technology. The title references the impact environmental conditions have on species such as plants or fungi and ultimately humans. For example, the nutrient content of plants changes when they're exposed to higher levels of CO2 or salty soil. But these species are not just transformed by their environments, they transform their environments as well. The idea is that such species or potential new ones could play a key role in conserving or transforming ecologies and environments today and in the future. The main work in the exhibition is an installation in which plants, lichen and fungi are growing in simulated possible environmental conditions of the year 2100. The species were selected based on their terraforming abilities, in this case growing in dry and salty conditions, cooling the ground in permafrost regions and removing heavy metals from soil. Technology is not only used to simulate certain aspects of environmental conditions, but also to enable new connections and communications between humans and non-humans. The activities of the species are tracked and turned into binaural beats, which consist of two different sound frequencies, one play to each ear. The sounds cause the brain to create an auditory illusion, a third frequency which connects the two, which induces a relaxed meditative state in humans. Through the sound frequencies, the plants, lichen and fungi can kind of gain direct control of the human brain of the listener. Another exhibited piece is a display unit filled with edible flowers harvested from the installation, which allows visitors to taste and sort of ingest a possible future. There is also a film which speculates about the augmentation of species with a computational system that searches for new landscapes to inhabit and to transform. The way I work is quite inquiry-based, so what is always most interesting to me is finding and learning new things, for example about recent scientific research, emerging technologies or cultural practices, and developing these into design projects. The recalibration of our relationship with the biosphere and of attitudes towards other species will be one of the key factors in addressing the challenges of the coming years. This is also what the two short workshops that were part of the project were about. They experimented with specifically designing for non-humans, such as bacteria, plants or ecologies, drawing on non-Western thought and knowledge practices. To me, the future is not something that can be experienced because it is not static or predetermined. The questions we ask today, the perspectives we consider and the ideas we develop through these will be what shapes the future.